I'm sure you've uh, seen the, these fellas here. The, they're used for hand cranking generators. Um, so I got one of them just out of interest. I got now, the first thing I noticed is that very hard to turn. It's not. Uh, you need quite a bit of torque. You need a crank handle to turn it. Uh, but I have a battery drill there that has two settings, 400 RPM and 1400 RPM. Now this says uh, max 120 RPM. But for a bit of fun, I put a, a diode on it and uh, I connected it up to uh, a 12 volt battery and uh, started turning it at uh, 400 RPM and it was uh, putting in over an amp into the battery but s fairly soon I knew straight away that the, the back force was putting quite a bit of load on it little nylon gearings wouldn't have lasted so so what I did then is I opened it up and uh, had a look of it so here it is opened up um, you can see the little nylon gearing um, and the planetary ring and uh, that was in there this one goes there, and then this sprocket goes in to that. Thought about doing. I don't. I. I. I don't know what the ratio of the whole gearing is. Uh, there's no reference to it. I would imagine it has to go up over 3,000 RPM. I think this is a max of 120 cranking to get the output. But I said to myself, what if I just removed this section put this here and put the gear put the motor straight on what um, performance would I get there it is now assembled I've removed the, the middle gearing section and uh, it turns quite freely whereas when you get a first you can't do that now I had to put in spacers here and here because I noticed when you put the the housings up tight together and when you tighten these uh, securing set bolts um, I don't know does the housing distort a bit but it tightens up also the the cog on the motor with the stub shaft if you go fully in it jams up against the stub shaft so I put some washers there and have it back together now I tightened up but I had some of these um, three mil nylock nuts so I put them on as well just in case any vibration this thing would vibrate loose now to find a housing and I don't have a, DD, a 3D printer neither do I have a a fabrication shop so I'm going to just use a bit of a six mil quarter inch ply mount that in there I drilled the holes already now I was playing around with a, a yaw trying something to yaw and this is out of a, a hot air gun that was US on me and uh, I said you know what I would do is a nice little yaw so I'm going to have to work on what to do here. Here we are. Um, a bit more progress. Um, this, ar this is the arrangement I came up here. As I said, that was off a hot air gun. I, in the hardware store, I got this uh, plumbing fitting. I think it's a blanking cap, the PVC. And uh, that inserted. And I put a bit of Tech, C Tech 7 the sealant in there screwed on this section onto the the cap and it's made up of this fella here is um off one of them the a clip that you'd attach the keychain to um a camera i think i had it when i had the sima little um, drones i put a uh, two spaces of plywood in here because he would only rock on this bracket which is belonging to the tripod so that's that's how i intend to connect it to the tripod the only reason i ended up with this situation is um, 
they were the bits pieces that I had around. No other reason. Um, we now are completed. I put a, a capacitor in, I didn't need it, but I, since I had one, I, I said I'd just stick it in. It's the only one I had left of that size, I think it's a thousand, so I said I'd stick it in, won't do any harm. Now, I've also incorporated um, the car cigarette USB uh, attachment. Um, the reason for that was that when I used the cigarette, I used two types of these uh, cigarette adapters, um, at 400 I was getting about 170, 4.6 volts, 1400, 510, 1 1.2 amps, 1200 milliamps, 6.5 watts. So that's her now, she's wired up, ready for boxing up. Nothing much more to be said about it. Doesn't look very pretty, but uh, once it's all uh, boxed up, if it works, I can dicky dot all up with a bit of paint. Now here, this fella. Now it came about from, uh, I purchased one of the cutting edge uh, wind turbines portable, thinking, that's what started me off, thinking that that would do me, but uh, suffice to say it was uh, it didn't do what was said on the tin it was absolutely useless but I have the um, the hub and the, the blades so that's what I'm going to use on this they are a 9 inch blade which gives about a uh, eight, 18 inches uh, 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 diameter overall but that's about what 450 millimeter 45 centimeter now you don't need one of these, you can go away, there's plenty of YouTube videos on how to make your own out of PVC pipe. I just stuck a, a 5 mil set, set ball through it, flattened the little edge, one edge of it, uh, where the grub screw will go, and that fella will now insert in here, and that's my arrangement. That little stub shaft or collet is an 8 mil to 5 mil grub screws so that's how I intend to so that would be the configuration my two concerns from the start with this is one is whether the little um, nylon um, gear gearing whether it'll stand up to the dynamic thrusts of this uh, these blades and the other is thrust uh, I put in two flat washers there just to see just to to stop any truss play they're, they're not tight so they can can move, move around so they are the two big issues one would be well how will it stand up to uh, use okay well there's the completed job now she's all ready to, uh, to be tested I'm one of them um, action cam brackets on the, the stern over there now to uh, put a bit of a a fin tail on it. I just beauty about that of course is that uh, I can remove it for storage. It's, it's quite light, it's not heavy. So the next thing now is to mount it on the um, tripod.